नमस्ते कोजुजान पोरा और वेरी वॉम वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस लाइव ऑनलाइन योगा सेशन रिस्पेक्टेड व्यूअर्स इन दिस लाइव सीरीज टुडे वी विल प्रैक्टिस द इनवर्टेड पोस्चर और इन्वर्टेड आसनास अर्लियर वी हैव प्रैक्टिस द सेवरल बैलेंसिंग आसनास एंड इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टार्ट द इन्वर्टेड स्रीच ऑफ आसनास सो before we discuss about the inverted asanas their detailed description benefits precautions so i would like to request all of you so please prepare yourself for the prayer sit comfortably in any meditation posture your both hand either on the knees in the gyana mudra so how to adopt the gyana mudra the gesture of knowledge so try to touch the tip of your index finger to the tip of the thumb and the rest finger fingers remain you know stretched or straight eyes should gently close head neck and spine should be straight relax your whole body try to observe your whole body with close eyes stop the all physical movements of the body the body become still and steady on the ground there is no movement in the body try to aware about your whole body move your awareness from the top of the body to the feet and try to relax them completely now aware about your breath total concentrate on your breath try to watch your natural breath don't intervene don't interfere to the natural breath just watch in detached attitude feel the each and every breath while inhalation you feel slight coolness inside your throat inside your nostril while exhalation feels slight warmth inside your throat inside your nostril so try to feel the each breath 
which enter and exit in your body. Slowly inhale deeply, chant Omkara three times. chanting, try to feel the vibration of this chanting. Feel the positive energy inside your mind, inside your body. Feel the silence. Rub your both palm together. Create a heat energy during the palming, during the rubbing of the palm, and place your palm over the eyes. Slowly open your eyes under the palm. Be comfortable. So respected viewers, as we indicated today, we will practice the inverted asana. Inverted means a vibrant asana. In this asana, our body alignment or body position get reverse. When we are in standing position, always our head in upright position and feet touches the ground or in the lower position. But when we do inverted posture, inverted asana, such as Veprit Karni Asana, Sarvang Asana, Shirsh Asana and other Asanas under these categories. So the, the gravity of the body are totally reversed. So in, in this reverse Asana, our orientation of gravity towards the head but in a standing position, the orientation of gravity towards the feet. So gravity pull our leg. So there are numbers of benefits of this posture. This posture improved the blood circulation towards the brain and 
facilitates the functions of the brain and the subendocrine glands such as pituitary and pineal glands. Also, the blood and lymph stagnated in the legs, pelvis region, back, abdominal regions are removed by this posture. Especially those who are working in the standing position for the long hours, especially the uh, security personals. So they feel, you know, the stagnation of the lymph and blood in their leg region, in their lower abdomen, pelvis region. And in the longer time, there is a chance to the varicose veins, the veins which exerts much of, much of pressure are bulging out. This condition is very painful and their name is the varicose veins. So through this practice, we prevent this varicose veins and the undue pressure on our veins, on our circulatory system also drains the undue, uh, 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 the stagnated blood and limbs towards our heart and the heart recirculate them towards the lungs and in the lungs the blood gets purified and again circulate in our heart and heart circulate throughout the body. In this asanas, the breath becomes slower and deeper. So facilitates the deeper breathing and improve our breathing habits. And increasing the maximum oxygen and carbon dioxide enter and exit in our body. So these are the benefits of the inverted postures. What are the limitations of this posture? So the persons with high blood pressure, any cardiac problem, thrombosis, glaucoma, the person suffering from the cervical spondylitis, cervical pain, neck pain, slip disc, should avoid this practice. The woman during the menstrual period and advanced stage of pregnancy also avoid this practice, this inverted postures. So respected viewers, prepare yourself for the practice if you are interested. So today we will practice the Viparit Karani Asana, the inverted posture. First lie down in Shavasana or lie down on your back. Leg and feet together. The hands and arms beside the body, palm facing downward, head, neck and spine should one line, aware about your body. Now slowly raise your both legs. First 45 degree, then 90 degree. In this position, 
your hip place on the ground press to the ground now slowly bring your both leg towards your head and raise your arms raise your hand and support your hip and stretch your leg in this position your total total body weight on your elbows on your neck and shoulder and the trunk make a 45 degree angle to the ground so in this position your leg should be vertical position and trunk make at a 45 degree angle to the ground maintain this position for 5 to 10 seconds in the final position either your eyes close or open slowly release this position posture bend your leg slightly towards the head and straighten your elbows brings your hand on the ground palm facing downward and put your back slowly on the ground one by one don't raise your head and now slowly bring your leg on the ground and relax relax for a few seconds observe your whole body try to feel the effect of this practice this is the vipreet karni asana inverted posture relax for a few seconds until your breath become normal again repeat this posture leg and feet together hands beside the body or closer to the body palm facing downward head neck and spine should in one line now inhale slowly and raise your both leg in this position your knees should be straight first 30 degree then 45 degree angle then 90 degree now bring your leg towards your head raise your hands and support your your lower back or hip from the palm bend your elbows and just straighten your leg in this position your total body weight on your neck shoulder and arms elbows maintain this position in the final position your leg is in vertical position and trunk make a 45 degree angle to the ground maintain this position for 5 to 10 seconds now slowly release the posture first slightly bend your leg towards your head or above the head and place your back slowly on the ground
in the returning position during the returning position your head should touch the ground now bring your leg on the ground and relax for a few seconds until your breath become normal palm facing upward feet apart take a deep breath now slowly turn either left or right and come in the sitting position this is the inverted position in the inverted posture the vipreet karni asan so tomorrow we will continue this reach and practice the sarvanga asana so hopefully respected viewers you will you will practice this posture in your yoga session and get the benefit of this postures so before end this session again sit in any meditation posture eyes closed slowly take a deep breath and chant omkar ho Thank you so much for your sincere viewing, your comments.